it is time for the word and i want to share a word with you from romans 12 and verse 2 it says do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what god's will is his good pleasing and perfect will another translation said be transformed by the renewing of your mind by the renewing of your mind so let's see what god is saying to us this morning and um we just want to honor his words this morning and give him glory and give him glory let's see what god is saying to us this morning hallelujah be transformed by the renewing of your mind hallelujah romans 12 verse 2 long before william james the father of um, american psychology was attributed with saying the greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitudes god said as a man thinks in his heart so is he so today my brothers and sisters choose the right attitude choose the right attitude that's what we're going to be talking about today as a man thinks in his heart so is he often it's our thoughts amen not our circumstances that determines our happiness we keep thinking we will be happy when certain things happen for example let me give you an example a, couple, a few examples as a matter of fact a parent might say when when little tommy starts primary school i will be happy <laughs> And they are for a while. Once little Tommy started primary school, they are happy for a while. Just for a while. The next thing they go, they say, when, when Tommy leaves secondary school, I will be happy. And they are, at least for the summer. Next, Tommy's graduation from university brings the same exact promise. So does his marriage and so does the birth of his first child. When he gets his, when he gives me the first grandchild, I will be happy. <laughs> but the problem is, my brothers and sisters, the parent hasn't learned how to be happy between happenings. Are you with me? Parent hasn't learned how to be happy between happenings. And so, when your happiness is controlled by something outside of yourself, you will always be hostage to people. You will always be hostage to places. And you will always be hostage um, to things. You're an hostage to people, to places, and to things. That's not how God wants you to live. That is not how he wants you to live. That's not his expectations of you. A victim of circumstances beyond your control. No. He said, David says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continually be in my mouth. His praise will always be in my mouth. In, in Psalm 31, 34 and verse 1. They, David chose the right attitude. I'll praise him at all times. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he graduated from high school. It doesn't matter if he graduated from college. It, it shouldn't matter at all. Let's praise God at all times. So David had the right, he has the right, he chose the right attitude to have. And you will have to do the same, my brothers and sisters. You also must maintain, maintain that praise being on your lips. Maintain having that praise in your heart, no matter what your circumstances are. That's the hard part though. That right there. It is the hard part, I know. It's like the old farmer who said, the hardest thing about milking cows is they don't stay milked. <laughs> they don't stay milked. 
and it's the same with attitudes they don't stay changed they don't stay changed you have to work on them every single day every day it's called renewing your mind it's called renewing your mind as the scripture says be transformed by the renewing of your mind and the way you do it my brothers and sisters the way we do it is by getting into God's Word hmm by getting into God's Word and getting his word into you I wish I had something more to give but that's the only way that's a simple way renewing your mind is by you getting into God's Word and having his word get into you getting his word inside of you so the question this morning is are you doing that regularly are you reading your Bible are you studying his word today my friends I am encouraging you I'm imploring you this morning choose the right attitude do not conform to the patterns of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and prove what God's will is his good pleasing and perfect is good pleasing and perfect will for your life so choose the right attitude so you don't lose out on his good pleasing and the perfect will for you God bless you this morning and I encourage you once again choose the right attitude God bless father we thank you Lord for speaking to our hearts this morning we pray dear father God that you will allow your words to manifest in our hearts Lord God as we we, we we were challenged this morning to have the right attitude choose the right attitude at all times let your praises be on our lips so that you can get glory we honor you this morning we love you we appreciate you and we praise you Lord and we ask you now to be with us in Jesus name amen and amen Hey, thank you for watching GL365 Radio and Web TV. Go to gl365radio.com and check out our live shows and our 24-hour broadcast. You can also catch us on Apple TV. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to our channel. Hit the thumbs up to like our content. God bless you.